NBA. This is News Leader 9 at 5. Of Auburn University students are busy helping the disabled exercise their right to vote. News Leader 9's Elizabeth White is introducing you to Prime 3. It's a new voting system. It could help all voters cast their ballots by 2008. To vote for amendments, say one. To cast your ballot, say two. This automated voice is what voters hear when they put on the Prime 3 headset. Prime 3 is a touchscreen voting system that allows every American to cast a vote. It allows you to vote by touch and by voice. So if you can't read, if you can't see, if you, or if you can't hear, you can still vote. Prime 3 has been in development since 2003. This week the system will be tested out in a campus-wide vote. We're finally at the point where we believe our system is the most secure system and the most easiest to use. What's more natural than speech and touch? And during the test vote, in order to be neutral, the choices are burgers and fries rather than Democrats and Republicans. To cast a vote for best burger, stay five. As for security, voter privacy is protected using randomly generated numbers. And two people can be voting at the exact same time for the exact same people, and they have different numbers for those people. It's always exciting to be part of something that's part practical. So research which is coming alive right in front of your eyes, what could be better than that? Well, how about seeing Prime 3 in the next presidential election? My dreams came true. It would be the primary voting system. Uh, in preparation for 08. And the mock election to test Prime 3 will take place on October 19th. Then different computer companies will actually try to hack into the system. And if all goes well, the group is going to try to get Prime 3 involved in real elections. Yeah, let's hope it passed the test. Oh, yeah. Thanks a lot, Liz.